In this video, we'll see about a new browser which comes with Windows 10 operating system. The name of the browser is Microsoft Edge and it is located in the taskbar. So I'll show you the browser and the name of the browser is Microsoft Edge. Before Windows 10 was launched, all the other operating system like Windows 7, 95, Windows 8, they were having some other browser named as Internet Explorer, which was a bit slow, but yes, it was more secure. Now, after Windows 10 and so on, all the operating systems, they'll be launching this Microsoft Edge. It is one of the fastest browsers till date and it comes along with this Windows 10 operating system. Let us see how do we find out, how do we browse different things with the help of this browser. So I'll just open this Microsoft Edge and that's the first user interface. It looks like that. Now, if you see, I am on the start page, that's a tab given here. That's a cross. If I want to close the tab, I can just click on this close button. I can click on this close button and the browser gets closed. If I again click on this place, since it closed the browser because it has only one tab. Suppose there are two tabs, I can just click on this plus sign. One more tab will be added. Now, if I click on this close button, the browser won't be closed. Only the tab will be closed. If you want to close the tab, the entire browser you can just click on this close button and the entire browser will get closed itself so microsoft edge let us see some more features about it i'll click on this microsoft edge now and by default it will give you some news let's say there are some news given here some offers which are going on and few more things at this place right now let us see if you want to search something about some topic or you want to search some url it's written as search or enter the web address. Now, if you want to search something about, you can say as tutorialspoint.com. If you want to search some website, some link is given, you just type here tutorialspoint.com and you click on this search button. So once you click on this search button, it is surfing, it is trying to find out that website. So once it finds out the website, it will load the page itself. There's some, some problem here. What I'll do is I'll again type the URL www.tutorialspoint. There was not tutorialspoint.com but www.tutorialspoint.com and then I can click on this search button or I can just press enter from my keyboard. Yeah, now it is working fine. So remember www.tutorialspoint.com that's a browser name and then you can search some website if you want. You can keep on searching anything, right? If, you're, if you want to see some videos, you can go to this place as video tutorials and you can keep on searching for different topics. These are all the video tutorials free of cost by Tutorials Point and you can keep on searching anything at this place, right? Now, suppose you want to see one more thing parallelly, you can just click on this plus sign. So once you add this plus sign, you can uh, search something apart from the website name. Suppose you want to search the news, you can just type here as news news today and press enter. So once you press enter, you will get the news related to different websites. So similar to you have the Google browser or you can say as Google search engine, Bing search engine, Yahoo search engine, you have something here as Bing search engine. You type something and you'll get the details, right? Suppose you select here, if you click on this place, you'll get the news related to that, right? That's the hashtag news in India. Now, if you want to go back to the previous page, you can just click on this back button. I'll just click on this back button. Now it will navigate from this page to the previous page. So I'll, I'll just first keep the cursor there. Yeah. So if you keep the cursor, it will say it's a back. So I'll just click on this back. Now it will come to the main page. Now if you want to go back again to the, the, uh, the latest page, you can click on this forward button. So again, it will take you to the next page itself. So that's the page given here. Right? Now, this button is known as refresh button. Suppose if you want to refresh a website, you can just click on this button here and the web page will be refreshed and you can get the data back again, right? Next is, this is nothing but the URL, okay, where you can type the URL of the website. That's a, a search box where you can say, if you want to search something else, you can search here as Windows 10 operating system something like that wikipedia okay 
Windows 10 operating system, Wikipedia, and you can search some data if you want and you can click on that place. So that's very simple and easy method. Similarly, you can keep on adding the tabs. These are known as tabs. First tab, second tab, and you can keep on adding tab. Let's see on the right hand side what it is. This is nothing but known as favorites. Suppose you like some page, if you like this website, Tutorials Point, and if you want to remember it, you can mark it as favorites. So once you put as favorites, it will say, what is the name of this website you want? Okay, how do you want to store the website? So you can just write as video tutorials, favorites, and you can click on add. What is the benefit of adding to favorites? If you see the yellow mark, okay. Now suppose you have closed the browser. I've just closed the browser here. Now, if you don't remember the name of the website, which you have served and which you remember that, so just click on this Microsoft Edge and you want to go to that favorite website that is Tutorials Point. You can go to this place, okay, and you see there are a few options here. I'll click on the first option that says as favorites and you don't have to remember the URL, neither you have to search to that particular place. You just click on this video tutorials, free online tutorials and you'll get the website. Okay, you'll get the web page here back again. So it's very simple, very easy. Remember that is nothing but favorites. You just mark it as yellow and uh, you have to click on that place and you have to just click on this save button. That's it. And you don't have to do anything else. Next one is if you click on this place, the next, next tab if you see that's given us reading list. Suppose you want to keep into a reading list. That means you'll be reading it later that those areas you can find it here itself. Next is history. Suppose you want to find out what are the topics you have searched last one hour, last two hours. So these are the topics you have searched. If you remember, we have seen video tutorials first, last hour, Windows 10 operating system, Wikipedia, Hindi news, news today and so on. So these are the websites which I have served through and it will remember entire history. Okay, so history can be remember. So if you want, you can also serve from this. If you want to go back to your location, the news, Hindi news, I can just click on this place and that website will be loaded. Okay. See the same website came. So history will remember all the websites, whichever you have served through, right? So that is the place here. And the last one is the place downloads. Suppose you downloaded some software, some video or some tutorial, anything. So that will be stored at this place in the downloads. So you have to go to this place and click on this downloads part. And you can also open the folder where the downloads get stored. So if you click on this open folder, this folder gets open and these are all the items which I have downloaded here. Okay, you can see these are the different items. The images are mostly for soft skills and so on. So I'll just click on this close button, right? If you want to go back, you can just again click on this place. It will go back again. Now suppose you want to keep as a reminder on OneNote, that's a Microsoft tool. So you can use this option as OneNote. So I'll just keep the cursor. So you say as make a web note. Okay. So if you click on this make a web note, you can do some changes here like this. I can select some color. You can select some color and you can add here. Finally, when it is done, you can click on this save button. Okay. And you can click on save. So if you want to do some notes, if you want to make some notes on that particular place, you can use this one note itself. If you do not want, you can just click on this exit. I'll just click on this exit part, right? So it's very simple and easy here. Now, at any point of time, if you want to send this website to your colleague or your friend, showing him some notification or something, etc., you can click on this share button. I'll just click on this share button. It says, how do you want to share? You want to share with the mail or as a quote and a reminder, OneNote or Twitter. The configured items in your PC will be shown here. If you have configured email, it will show as a email. If you have configured other options, it will show there. I'll just click on this mail and see what happens. The URL of the website will be given here. That's given here www.http.the website name. The detail about the website, some small case they have written something. The name from where the email will be going. And two, you have to just type the name of the person with whom you want to share the mail. So if you type here the name and just click on this send. So what I'll do is I'll type here the email address, my email address of Gmail. That's it. Selected that and you can just click on this send button. 
So now the email will go to that particular person whose name you have typed it, right? And just click on close. Yeah, that's it. So these are some things related to this Microsoft Edge. It's very uh, fast browser. You can say you can keep on searching different options here, and uh, uh, this can this area can be used like back, forward, refresh. You can type the URL of these things, and there are some favorites and history downloads and so on, right? I hope you have understood the new browser launched by Windows 10 that is Microsoft Edge. That's all for this video.